Okay, here we go. We're going to be taking some first looks at doing some basic stuff with Image Magic. In Image Magic is a package that is available. It is open source. It's available on most distributions of Linux by default. If not, it will be in your repositories. I'm pretty sure it's cross-platform, so you can get it for Windows and Mac as well, but you're going to have to go and search for it online, which I don't really always recommend. Um, anyway, um, Basically, think of Image Magic as GIMP for the command line, or for those of you who use Photoshop, it's like Photoshop for the command line. Uh, you can manipulate pictures in pretty much any way you want uh, from the command line. Why would you want to do this? Uh, for writing scripts, uh, and I'll get into more advanced stuff in the future, but uh, for image manipulating, uh, bulk image manipulation, or if you want to write a script that automates something, Image Magic is a great way to go. So here we go, let's get started. First off, when you install Image Magic, it installs a program called Display. What does Display do? Display will display an image that uh, you tell it to display. Here's an image I have, a JPEG image. We'll just type Display, name of the file, and hit Enter. And there we go, open it up. That's Fat Frog. For those of you who don't know who he is, might want to uh, YouTube him. He's a pretty cool guy. Okay, so let's do some cool things with this photo. We're going to start very basic. We're going to go over um, making the image a negative. Then we'll go into black and white, both monochrome and grayscale. That's what we're going to go over in today's tutorial, all three of those things, because all three of them are pretty simple. We are going to say, uh, first off, let me just make a copy of this image, just in case for some reason I do something to the original. We want to be able to go back. I'll just call it the same thing, but dot old. If I list that out, you see, oh, I moved it instead of <laughs> copying it. Okay. Let's do that again. Uh, old. So we're going to copy old to the file. Now if I list out, we've got two files. Now the stuff I just did, list, move, copy, these are basic command line functions. If I've lost you, then you need to go back to the basics. I have videos on those. You shouldn't start messing with image magic so you learn at least the basics of the uh, Unix command line, bash, or any other uh, shell environment. Okay, so now I've got a backup copy in case I do something to the original. So um, we're going to say convert, which is a program, part of the Image Magic uh, package. And we're going to say negative or ne negate. And we'll say image.jpg. And we'll just call it output.jpg. So we're going to create a new image. We're basically going to take, use the convert program, take this image, make it a negative, and save it to here. So we still will have the original. I just made a backup here just in case for some reason I do something other than the convert command during these tutorials. I have the original. So all I have to do is hit enter now, and it's converted. If I now type display and the name of the file, output.jpg, there's a negative of fat frog. We still have our original display right there. So convert will create a new file every time. There's another command that will get into the future that will actually uh, edit the file uh, in line, basically uh, save over itself. But we don't want to do that right now. So once again, to make a negative of an image, we're going to use convert dash negate the name of our input file, and then the name that we want to create the output file to. Now we can use convert to make something monochrome or grayscale. There's people call it black and white. Really, uh, monochrome would be more of a black and white, where grayscale is what we call black and white, but really it's not. So let's have a quick look at this. We're going to say convert dash monochrome image.jpg, oh, image.jpg, the name of our input file, and we'll call the output file output.jpg again, just save over that instead of creating a new file each time. Okay, now if I say display output.jpg, hey, there we go, we got fat frog and monochrome. Now you can see that this picture is truly black and white. It doesn't have any gray in it. It's black and white. The gray parts are really uh, uh, dots of black and white at different spaces to make different shades. It's a true black and white. It's monochrome. 
Now, if we do convert and we do color space and we say gray, this will make it a grayscale image. We'll take our input file, create an output file, we'll hit enter. And also note that convert does not ask if you want to overwrite, so make sure you don't overwrite. Sorry, my cell phone. It seems to ring every time I do a tutorial nowadays. Okay. Um, so we got convert. Our color space is going to be gray, so we're going to do a gray scale. We're going to take our input file and output file. And as I was saying, it will automatically overwrite that output file. So make sure you don't overwrite a file you need. So we did that. We'll do display output. Hey, and there's Fat Frog in what is a gray scale. So those are two different types of black and white, even though monochrome is more of a true black and white. This is a, has shades, so it's not black and white. Um, so we'll review the three commands again. Uh, well, the command is convert. We can use dash negate input file, then our output file. Convert monochrome input file, output file. Convert color space gray input file, output file. And it's that simple. I thank you for watching and I have a lot more on image magic to come. Keep on watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Uh, and I hope that you have a great day.